Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Discuss the types of superconductors, type I and type II, and their differences. Answer. Superconductors are materials that can conduct electricity without any resistance when cooled below a certain temperature, known as the critical temperature. This extraordinary property allows for efficient electrical transmission, powerful magnetic fields, and various applications in technology and medicine. Superconductors are generally categorized into two main types, type 1 superconductors and type 2 superconductors. Let's explore each type and their differences in detail. Type 1 Superconductors Definition Type 1 superconductors are pure elemental metals that exhibit superconductivity below a specific critical temperature. Common examples include lead, Pb, mercury, Hg, and tin, Sn. Key Characteristics Complete Meissner Effect Type 1 superconductors exhibit the Meissner Effect, which is the expulsion of magnetic fields from the interior of the superconductor. This means that when a material transitions to the superconducting state, it will repel any external magnetic fields and allow for magnetic flux to pass through only at its surface. Critical magnetic field. Type 1 superconductors have a well-defined critical magnetic field beyond which superconductivity is destroyed. If the external magnetic field exceeds this critical value, the material reverts to the normal, non-superconducting state. Single critical temperature. Type 1 superconductors have a single critical temperature, below which they can exhibit superconductivity. Limitations They are often limited in practical applications due to the low critical magnetic field they can withstand. This makes them unsuitable for environments with strong magnetic fields. Type 2 superconductors definition Type 2 superconductors include a broader class of materials, such as certain alloys and complex compounds, that can withstand higher magnetic fields and display more complex behavior compared to type 1 superconductors. Examples include niobium titanium, NBT, and high temperature superconductors like YBCO, yttrium barium copper oxide. Key characteristics partial Meissner effect. Unlike type 1 superconductors, Type II superconductors can allow magnetic fields to penetrate in a control manner. This occurs in the form of quantized magnetic vortices and is known as the mixed state or vortex state. Two critical magnetic fields. Type II superconductors have two critical magnetic fields, lower, HC1, and upper, HC2. Between these two values, the superconductor can remain in a mixed state allowing some magnetic field lines to enter while maintaining its superconducting properties. Higher critical temperature and fields. Type II superconductors typically have a higher critical temperature and can sustain stronger magnetic fields than type I superconductors, making them suitable for various advanced applications. Differences between type I and type II superconductors. Feature type I superconductors, type II superconductors. Composition pure elemental metals alloys, complex materials. Meissner effect complete expulsion of magnetic fields partial expulsion, allows magnetic penetration. Critical magnetic fields, single critical magnetic field, two critical magnetic fields, HC1, HC2. Application limitations limited by low critical field widely used in high field applications examples. Lead PB, mercury, HG, MBT, YBCO, MGB, two practical applications. Type 1 superconductors. Due to their simplicity, type 1 superconductors are primarily of interest in basic research rather than practical applications. However, they are sometimes used in low field applications like laboratory experiments where strong magnetic fields are not required. Type 2 superconductors. Magnetic levitation. Type II superconductors are used in magnetic levitation technologies, such as maglev trains, which rely on the interaction between superconductors and magnets for frictionless travel. MRI machines. The strong magnetic fields generated by type II superconductors are essential in magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, machines in the medical field. Particle accelerators. Type II superconductors are widely utilized in particle accelerators too generate high magnetic fields necessary for controlling particle beams. Electric power applications. Superconducting cables made from type II materials can significantly reduce energy losses in power transmission, 
helping to create a more efficient electrical grid. Conclusion and summary, superconductors are classified into type 1 and type 2 based on their physical properties and behaviors in the presence of magnetic fields. While type 1 superconductors offer simplicity and complete magnetic field expulsion, type 2 superconductors provide greater versatility and withstand stronger magnetic fields, making them more applicable in modern technology. Understanding these distinctions is essential for advancing the use of superconductive materials in various fields, from transportation to healthcare and energy efficiency.